Hey guys, Germinator here again, and today I was going to show you a little something. I've been messing around with note blocks quite a bit, um, and it's something I've noticed that a lot of people would just ignore, I guess, and I know I did for forever. I never really wanted to mess with them because it's just, it just seems like a really complicated thing to do, but lately I've been playing with them, and I've been having quite a bit of fun um, trying to find new models of uh, ways to make a quick and easy like notes and for like a, an alarm. And there's a couple of reasons why you'd want to do it. One would be maybe an alarm system for your house if the door opens or and, and it doesn't get closed, or maybe um, for a smart furnace so it, it alarm goes off whenever you know you're done um, cooking something or whatever. But um, anyway, so this is the model I've come up with. And I put it on a loop here, but there is an easier way to do this. Um, the reason why you would make a clock like this is to have it loop on itself so you can cut it on and off with a uh, piston from the side. So if I put a piston here and then uh, powered it, um, that would power the loop on. And then I could unpower it to cut it off to make it stop playing, basically. Um, because those repeaters would go through that block and so on. So that's the reason why I have it like this. But um, I'm, today I'm just going to show you a quick, easy way to make a um, nice song. Um, and you can get creative with it. Um, so like this is what it would sound like. And that did not loop because I have it cut off. What an asshole, man. What an asshole. I'm just going to sleep because y'all love watching me sleep and I don't know why I started the tutorial at like basically night time so that's awesome. So anyway, that's what you can do and it's uh, kind of fun to do actually and I, you can make it as big as you want. I mean this is, you know, you can just keep going and going with it and add on to it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to cut that signal off. There we go. Alright, so this is what you want to do and first I'm sure you y'all probably already know all this, but um, I'm gonna say it anyway. The cobblestone underneath the blocks, note blocks, makes like a bass sound. Sand would make like a snare drum. Wood, I don't know if it's like a bass guitar or like a just a regular bass sound. And then if you don't have any blocks underneath it, or you have like dirt, um, it would make a piano sound. So once you know all that. Oh, you're ready to just mess around. So, you would start this circuit with a, a block and then put a repeater going into that block with dust on it. Now, whatever note you want to play, like for me right here, I'm going to do a bass drum. So, I'm going to use cobblestone and then uh, a note block on top. So, I'm just going to repeatedly test this out. So, if you put rest on behind that with a block on top of it and a button which I should already have but don't and a button on it you can see you can test out this whole thing every now and then so you can just know how how it sounds so right now that sounds like it's playing too fast so I'm going to put a del delay on it and you can see it delays the playing of the, no of the sound so anyway behind that block I'm going to put another repeater on full delay with a, going into a block with dust on it same thing with cobblestone and a note block on it. You can see it plays two bass drums in a row with the same um, delay in between them. So now I'm going to do a fast pace um, bass. So repeater on no delay with redstone, cobble, cobblestone with a note block on it. Now. Alright, you can see it played that one quicker. So now I'm going to put a snare, um, maybe a two tick delay on it. I'm just messing around, seriously. And this is what you would do, just have fun with it and mess around, make up your own song. Alright, so there's my first of my beat. So maybe I put a little bit longer delay on that. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to do a bunch of fast paced. Uh, bass drums. I may just, yeah, let's just do this. 
cobblestone. Now once you get to the end, um, just turn. Do the same thing, but just turn it around one and put you another block. And then do the same thing on that side. Cobblestone. Uh, note block with the redstone on it. And then just keep it going this way. I'm going to do a bunch of like really rapid um, beats one after another with no delay on them. And we'll see how it sounds. But this is how you're building your beat. I mean, you can make a bunch of delays. So if you wanted to do one with um, extra delay, um, you could actually just have more repeaters in between like this and then put a block down like that if you wanted to have an extended delay on it like that. And we'll s I'll, I might try that and just see how it sounds just for shits and giggles but um anyway so let's try this out and see how it sounds all right that sounded almost decent so i'm gonna i might keep that so then we'll put another repeater down and just keep it going now i'm gonna put a snare in and try it out Alright, decent, pretty decent. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put two repeaters down like that because this got messed up. Um, I may be just crazy right now, but I'm, let me just try this out. Let's just try it. And this is just about playing around and seeing what sounds best and what doesn't. Um, and this may sound like crap, but hey, and I already took away my button, so that's awesome. Alright, that sounded pretty good. I'm just going to keep that. So what you would do is just connect these up like this to have it repeat on itself. So that repeater is coming out, going back in this way. We'll just create a uh, somewhat of a clock where it just goes around and loops on itself. One thing that um, you could have done, if this two right here didn't mess up the pattern, this block would have been even with this block, and you could have just placed another repeater going back on itself here, um, if there was a block here, but uh, I couldn't do that. So, um, But anyway, that's okay. I, just, I still looped it around. So now the, the other thing that you could do here is add in more instruments on top of uh, that uh, beat. So what you could do is just add in whatever I like wood because it makes that you know guitar sound so on it beside every block that has redstone on it you can and in between those you can place wood and then on the sides of these you can place wood or whatever noise you want and you could actually put one there and there you can see they're both beside blocks with redstone so if you place note blocks on all those and then here and here now they'll make that um, guitar sound So that sounds pretty cool. And then, then on top of that, you could add in, so if you don't have um, anything underneath the note block, it'll make um, a piano sound. So you could add in pianos. See, beside these um, two blocks of redstone, there, there you could put a note block there. So that would make a piano sound. And now beside that one, I could put a note block there. It won't let you place one against another note block, so you have to build it up and then place it which is okay um, so we'll just do that real quick in between each um, right beside every uh, redstone so we'll do that and it just gives you more you know options for different tones and stuff you want to do there and then we can put one here and then going this way we can put one on all those I don't know what happened there we could put one there, so we might as well. There. And then. There. And. 
up there. And you could actually put one here too. Because that's beside the redstone. You can see that's all filling up and you, I could put one there. There it is. So that's a full, complete note box they're all playing. So the next thing you could do is just go in and change the pitch of some of these to make it like a melody or something. So on the piano ones, I'm just going to change the pitch maybe to that and then to that. Oh shit, I messed that up. That's okay. And I'm sure that there's a lot of more people that are way better at this than me, but, and that's a fail right there because I didn't hook up the redstone. Oh shit. That sounds like terrible. Sounds better. Maybe one down here. I mean, this is all about just playing around. This is me just being. I'm a numb skull with this stuff, so I, I I just play around and have fun with it because I, and and I've been actually creating okay tunes and stuff. So that's pretty much all I want to show you for for now. Now the next um, video I may do is showing you how to uh, incorporate one of these mixers into um, something functional in the world so um, let me show you a real quick thing I did here with the smart furnace so this lever would be for the furnace if I'm going to um, start cooking something um, let's cook some wood and I might need more than that so that would be awesome so I'm going to put some wood in here, and I have all kinds of wood in here. So once I start the furnace, I would just click the button down saying I just started it. So once it's done cooking, um, and I could fill all these up, but once it's done cooking, it would let me know about with an alarm that goes off. See, the alarm goes off when it's done. So now I know it's done. I come back and I can turn the alarm off like that. And okay, so the alarm cut off. Now I get my charcoal or whatever the hell out of it and then say I just finished it and cut it back off. So next time I come and put uh, stuff in the furnace, I'll just do the same thing. Say I just started it and then it'll go off again. And that's basically it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. Anyway, I hope you all have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.